I also want to uh, give you an update on the Clinton email scandal, the other scandal we're not allowed to talk about. The scandal that is the reason we have the Russiagate scandal. Why is it we have the Russiagate scandal, the targeting President Trump? Well, Hillary Clinton was facing serious criminal consequences, potentially, for her email misconduct. What better way than to get out from under them than to have the Justice Department and the FBI target his, her political opposition? and have partisans friendly to her continue to harass the president through the DOJ and FBI when in fact the Justice Department and the FBI, uh, presumably under a new fresh administration, uh, should have gone back to the drawing board given all the corruption, all the corruption documented in this 500 page report and documented by Judicial Watch separately and independently in the investigation of the Clinton email matter. Now, Judicial Watch hasn't forgotten about the scandal, and the left will attack us for raising the scandal. You know what the left will ha also have to attack, and Hillary Clinton's partisans will also have to attack? They're going to have to attack the courts, because the courts haven't forgotten about it either. And that's why a federal court judge authorized Judicial Watch to take additional discovery into the Clinton email issue and, yes, the related Benghazi scandal issue. Because it was the Benghazi lawsuit that Judicial Watch had filed under the Freedom of Information Act that exposed, exposed the Clinton email issue. We found the Clinton emails thanks to Judicial Watch. And the court, in authorizing us to, uh, to get some discovery, he said specifically, was the Benghazi scandal and information about that that they did not want coming out one of the reasons they did not want her emails coming out? They didn't want to tell the courts and the American people about it. So we get to ask questions about the Benghazi scandal, and we get to ask questions about the Clinton email scandal. Was her system set up to thwart the Freedom of Information Act? Was the federal court in our case, uh, was there an effort to hoodwink the court? to get the court to shut it down before they found out or we found out about the Clinton email issue. Because we had asked for the documents, there were no Clinton emails. And they wanted to shut us down before we figured out what was going on. And the court wants to know whether they tried to hoodwink them, him. Now, and it's not just the State Department, but the Justice Department too. And the court also wants to know, was the search adequate? Which it is another way of saying is, where are all of Hillary Clinton's emails? We're the ones asking the questions, not Congress, not the media. Judicial Watch is. And we've been authorized by a court to ask the questions. Because our litigation has found that the, the FBI has only been able to recover 5,000 of the 33,000 emails Hillary Clinton deleted or tried to hide or destroy. There are 28,000 emails at least that are still out there. And the court wants to know, is there anywhere else we can look for them? So we have discovery that's going to take place over the next few months. Discovery means evidence gathering. We get to take testimony, gather documents submit written questions to the agencies and some witnesses and get written answers, but it means bringing people under oath and questioning them in person. We have 10 depositions scheduled over the next several months. We've got document requests out there. So if you want to know what's going on with the Clinton email scandal, it's Judicial Watch that's doing all the work. not the Senate, not the House, and we're doing it over the objections of the Justice Department and the State Department. We get to submit written questions, for instance, to Susan Rice, the former ambassador to the United Nations under Barack Obama, who went on five Sunday morning talk shows and, made, uh, and lied about the Benghazi attack. We get to ask her questions in writing under oath. We get to uh, ask the number I don't know what number he was at the FBI, but one of the top FBI officials, Bill Priestep, questions under oath about the FBI investigation to figure out where all emails are. Those questions will be in writing under oath. We'll be talking in person to Jake Sullivan, a top aide to Hillary Clinton. 
will be talking in person to one of Hillary Clinton's lawyers. And yes, if there's an attorney-client privilege that can be fairly invoked, we won't get answers potentially. But Mrs. Clinton's rights will be protected in this court process, unlike Mr. Trump's rights, who are being violated six ways to Sunday in Congress and frankly, by the Justice Department and the FBI on a regular basis. And after all of this is over, we may have the opportunity, and the court invited us to go back to him, it's Judge Royce Lamberth is the judge, and make the case if we want to question Hillary Clinton under oath, in addition to what we've already asked from her in other cases. So we're not, we're not forgetting about this. So it's, um, the accountability continues on the Hillary Clinton email scandal, thanks to Judicial Watch. Thank <laughs> you.